What's up, what's up, what's up? This is my first Rumble video, y'all. I'm going to start messing with Rumble. I don't really do social media and all of that stuff. But if you get a second, go check out my channels on YouTube. Ambitious and Pure is one, and the other one is UPL with a period after all three letters. There's a lot of information up there. I'm just coming on here to do something different. You know, vibe a little different, move a little different because the censorship is at an all-time high and I got a job to do. I just want to spread love and light to y'all. Our world needs a lot of love. And I got a question for the world, man. Do you love yourself? Because if you love yourself, there should be a lot more love spreaded in this world. Instead, all I see is jealousy, envy, and hate. And that, those are not good energies. Those energies will keep you down, will keep you low, will keep you very low vibrational. So I want y'all to really take a step back and just think for a second. You know, go outside, go connect with nature. Start doing things that you don't usually do on the regular. Sometimes you got to step outside of your comfortability to understand who you are and what your purpose is here on life. You understand what I'm saying? So I just want to come speak some love and light to people real quick because we need it. Definitely. Now... I got a few things to say. I hope y'all taking care of yourself. I hope your your health is good. If your health is not good, I need you. This is very important. I need y'all to pay attention, okay? There is some things going on in the world that a lot of people may not understand what's going on, but that's why I'm here to help you out. And just give y'all the information that I have received. So we have to start really taking care of ourselves. We have to be more mindful and aware of the stuff that we put in our bodies on a daily basis. You understand what I'm saying? Like, say for instance, when I go grocery shopping, I read everything. Now, people look at me as if I'm crazy or I'm weird, but nah, nowadays, guys, y'all have to read. We have to start reading these labels that's on the back of our food. There is all types of stuff being put in our food that alters our body, that gives us a lot of these man-made diseases here on earth that we suffer from on a daily basis. So when you go to the grocery store, start reading please because this is very important there is a lot of stuff in our food that we the people around this whole world need to be more aware of now i'm not trying to tell nobody how to eat or whatnot i'm just here to help and share and help somebody else because we are dealing with something at a very strong magnitude that a lot of people are having a hard time grasping and understanding on what is actually really going on. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. Now, I'm gonna stress the health part for a little bit in my videos because that is very important. When I go in the grocery store, I just see people picking up things they don't read. It's like really sad and since I changed my life seven years ago, I feel so much better. I'm chilling, I'm vibing. I'm able to do things now that I wasn't able to do after a certain personal event in my ho um, house, excuse me. A personal event in my personal life that occurred a few years back. So that right there, I believe was my last wake up call. And all I did was took a step back. I deprogrammed from the world and I tapped into my inner self. The 
love is so strong in my heart. And I just want to give it to the world now because we need it. Our people are suffering. Our children are suffering. Our senior citizens are suffering. We need each other, guys. Love is one of the, actually, it's the biggest energy on this earth. So think about it, right? If you go in the grocery store and you see a veteran or somebody that's not able to get up and grab something off the shelf, extend your love. Open your heart. Ask that person if they need help Help with something. Help, love, kindness, it doesn't cost a thing. It's priceless. And I bet you, if you ever do that and you step outside of stuff that you don't usually do and you communicate with other people, you will feel a lot better in your heart in your mind I'm telling y'all we have to start paying attention this soda is not what y'all think it is I'm not gonna go too much into detail cuz I don't know how they do on here but please start paying attention to the beverages that y'all are consuming on a daily basis. If you can, try to eat more fruits and veggies and drink lots of water. I, myself, personally, I don't eat red meat. It's been, I think, eight years since I ate red meat. I just eat fruits, veggies, a lot of organic stuff, and stuff like that. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard, y'all, but we have to start paying attention. If we are not aware of what's going on in our world, then things are just going to continue to happen until we start to rise up and come together and pay more attention. Really, we have to pay more attention. If you are on more than two, three medications, that is not right. I'm telling you that. I'm not a medical doctor. You don't have to listen to me. This is my own personal experience. But from looking from the outside in, you have to somewhere in life start questioning things. Everything is not what you think it is. Everybody lives their life as if we're not supposed to pay attention to things. We're only supposed to pay attention to what they want you to pay attention to. That's not life. We have to stop being part of their narrative. We are all some very special and powerful young beings in this world. And if we can come together on a wisdom, love, especially unity tip, y'all don't know how powerful we can be as one. That's real talk, man. I want to see more love in this world. Every day when I go out, I speak to people that got screw faces on. Sometimes I even have conversations, like real deep conversations about the things that's going on in this world. I've been meeting so many beautiful, beautiful people. And I thank God every day for letting these people cross my path because meeting these people are making me stronger so my message to y'all is please be more aware of your surroundings if something don't serve you let it go we need change in our world and the change starts within so until we as people can change like I said it costs nothing. So I'm not going to talk y'all too much, but hopefully this helps somebody. And uh, please start reading stuff. Start researching. And just be aware because we are living in a false reality, y'all. This is real. Like, it, it don't get no realer than this. And we got to do better. We definitely have to do better. 
I love y'all. If you get a second, go check out my shop on Etsy. Light, love, and harmony. Don't forget to check out my videos on YouTube. There's a lot of information up there about stuff that's going on in this world. I just talk about a lot because it's all here now. So I'm just giving back to y'all. And I, hopefully this helps somebody and resonates with somebody. So that way you could take this love that I'm giving y'all and keep passing it on down the line. We got to get this effect going. We have to get this love frequency going, vibration, energy, whatever you want to call it. It's the strongest on the planet. And it's in within us. It starts with us. I'm about to get it out of here because it's hot in my car. Go get some AC. But I love y'all. Please stay awake. For those of you who are awake, please just be aware of everything. Now tell me in the comment section if you went grocery shopping and you read something on there that trickled your mind and makes you want to question and tell me what it is and i can help you all right that's what i'm here for i'm here to give y'all my time okay so i love y'all stay cool stay calm stay humble to all the light workers in the world keep going we got this love outweighs all i'm out